let's add a typewriter text effect to use some text here inside of After Effects. So I have a short block of text just here. Over in the Effects and Presets panel, I'm going to start typing in typewriter. Now I don't even have to complete it and you can see the typewriter value has popped up just here. Now I can grab that and drag that to either the text within the comp itself or to the layer just down here. So if I grab typewriter and drop it on, now it disappears. Now I'm going to tap the space bar to play through this comp and check it out. This is working perfectly. So guys, uh, for some of you, that's going to be enough. If you want to know how to tweak this, um, stick around. I'll show you how to do that just now. Okay, so I have my text layer selected. And if I come up to the effect controls panel just up here, you'd kind of expect there to be a typewriter entry just up here because uh, we're kind of used to when we come over to the effects and presets panel and type in something like Gaussian blue and applying that, it will actually show up as an effect within this panel just up here. Okay, so it's not actually applying an effect. So what exactly is going on just here? Well, if I start twirling open values just down here, if I dig deep enough, you'll find that what's actually happened is this thing called animator one has been added to this text layer. And then this value for start just here has been keyframed. And that's what these things are just here. So if I drag this playhead to the very start just here, you can see the start value has been keyframed with 0%. And by the time it gets to the second keyframe, it's reached 100%. So this is great to know guys, because to change the way this effect plays out, all we have to do is grab either one or both of these keyframes. And if I play through this just now, for example, you can see that it's actually animating much faster. So that's great to know. But uh, of course, we don't wanna have to dive through all of these values if we don't have to. So I wanna show you a really nice uh, keyboard shortcut to get to the important keyframe value just here. So if I close this up, up under the animation menu, reveal properties with keyframes. Keyboard shortcut is U, okay? I don't even have to have this layer selected. If I just tap the U key, it will show me just values that are keyframed. In this case, that start value, which we saw a moment ago. So having tapped U, I can quickly get access to my keyframes. And for example, maybe I want to stretch that effect out to be far longer. So if I play through that just now, fantastic. We've got that typewriter effect playing out much more slowly. Guys, I have a second example just here with a much bigger block of text. This works just as well. I just wanted you to see this. So effects and presets, there's my typewriter effect. If I drop that on, if I uh, tap my spacebar, it plays through very nicely. Press the U key to reveal those keyframed values. There they are just there. So maybe, for example, I want this to play out not at the very start but I do want it to play out over a much longer period of time. Drag my playhead to the start and tap my space bar to play that through. Fantastic. So that's it there guys. I hope that helps you create a typewriter effect here inside of After Effects. Catch you later.